Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to this little command block video thing. <laughs> you guys seem to really like these. Uh, I did a cloning one the other day. There'll be a link for that in the description of the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one we're doing the fill command, okay? Now, we all know what the fill command is. It does what it says in the tin, really. It fills things. Oh, that didn't work. Hang on. There we go. Obviously, we know the fill command. It fills in blocks, right? That's pretty cool and they're really good for map makers if you want to build stuff really quickly. But there is some other uses which you can use this for. Now, obviously, knowing as it's me, <laughs> I always set up these random demonstrations. But here we go. So what this is going to do is basically fill outlines of things, okay? Now, this is a special part. At the end of the command, it says outline. Now, what that does is fills a box as an outline, okay? But I want to show you, there's some things that you may or may not know here. So, obviously, when I flick this, this happens. This fills in a double chest because, obviously, they're touching each other, okay? But as you can see, yes, in the center is nothing, okay? Now, I've got these little commands here. This will kill it all, and this kills all the items. Okay, very important. Now this is end rods. Now, as you can imagine, if you were trying to do that in survival, it would take forever. And also, yes, you're placing them in the air, guys. So you can use this, like the cloning command, to place blocks like you normally wouldn't be able to. So yeah, you could trick your friends or something. Again, kill them. This one is mob spawners. <laughs> Now that actually looks like a proper prison, right? Like a prison cage. But yeah, I don't think you've ever seen that many mob spawners before. So let's kill that. And then this one is Coral. Now I've tried to been playing around with this and it doesn't actually work. I thought it would actually place it, but yeah, these sadly have to be placed in water only. It won't work, look, as you can see. This again is Coral Block, but as you can see, it dies. <laughs> quite strange. Uh, again, I'll kill that. It's quite cool actually. When you kill it, it actually does uh, give you the block in grey. Now this one is quite interesting. So obviously this is a diamonds, okay. But when you actually kill it, it drops XP in diamonds, okay. Now what this is doing is actually destroying it, okay. At the end of the fill, it's got destroy, okay. So yeah, you could use that to your advantage, which I'll show you in a minute over here. And then, what's this one? Ah yes, never pause. look at this. Quite strange, isn't it? <laughs> what's cool about this one though, when you destroy it? Listen to this, ready? That is super loud, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just having a bit of fun here, guys. I'm just showing you some things. And now, gravel is quite an interesting one, because when you actually destroy it, yes, it has a percent chance of dropping flint, as you will see. See? So I don't know if you knew that or not. Anyway, some more interesting things here. I have here a name tag that's called Lucky, and one chicken spawn egg. So what I'm going to do is go in here and spawn in a couple chickens, okay? Do four. And we're going to name one of them Lucky. Okay, once I flick this, he gets seeds coming out of him. How random is that? But what this is, this is doing, this is the fill command. As you can see, if I go in here and repeat, it's just filling a piece of wheat above his head, destroy it. Yes, I could have used set block, but why would you use set block when you can do this? Are you ready? <laughs> Carrot time! <laughs> Yeah, you can literally make it rain carrots from a chicken. And yes, that actually follows him. See? See that? But I mean, I'm just trying to give you some examples here, but maybe this has sprung an idea on you. But for this last little showcase, I'm going to just hop onto a little survival world, okay? So I'll be back. Now say I'm on a survival world, and I've just found a village, okay? But I don't like the look of the village, okay? I'm bored of seeing cobblestone and wood. I can change that with a few little commands with the fill command. Now, I, I'm gonna try and show you this as best I can, but I might get the coordinates wrong. 
but bear with me. So all you need to do is get obviously next to your village, type in fill, put your positions where you are, okay, and then you want the positions where you want it to go. Now, for example, if you want to replace cobblestone, you need to put whatever you want to replace it with first, okay? So for example, as it's there, I'm going to do blue ice, okay? So blue ice, zero data value, okay? Replace cobblestone, zero, okay? Now that's all that part. Now I know that that building is at least six blocks high so I'm just gonna do 10 anyway to be safe and we'll do 20 and we'll go for minus 20 let's see if this works bear with me oops six blocks over there not very good okay we'll try that again hang on a minute uh, maybe it's minus there and like that there we go as you can see it worked but that's pretty much all you can you can do with the fill. I mean, I think that's pretty good that you can just replace things like that. Obviously, if I wanted to just destroy stuff, I could just do the same sort of command. But instead of that, I would just put air, zero, and then destroy. Oh, if I could spell. Whoa, that is pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video there. That is the fill command. If you've got any questions, let me know in the video uh, comment section thingy. Anyway, I'm Darius Probs. Bye!